Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Today we're going to be doing the final review of the PX Toys 9303 Desert Journey four-wheel drive truck out here on a rail bed in southeastern Wisconsin near my home. We're also going to be rolling in some FPV footage. I do have a camera installed up here in the dash as you can see right there. Uh, throwing some FPV in there as well. Let's get this thing on the ground and check it out once. Go ahead and get this bound up, the transmitter on and we are off now this is a 118 scale truck guys four-wheel drive entry-level hobby grade uh, by px toys uh, px toys is really uh, making some decent products nowadays they have the really popular sandyland uh, monster truck version of this car um, as well as a couple other models and i will say from experience um, from having worked on these before uh, that the build quality is very very good for what you're paying at right around sixty dollars uh, i'll put a link in the description for this vehicle again uh, if you guys want to check it out and you can see the Achilles heel of this being that it is 118 scale and the lower ground clearance here is causing some issues with some of the bigger obstacles but I'm not going to edit any of this kind of stuff out I want to show you guys kind of real time uh, what this thing can do and what it can't do uh, what you could expect if you should purchase this vehicle um, now it does it flies through here pretty good I'm not full throttling it because I don't want to uh, you know, roll it all the time. Now, this has got a pretty good center of gravity, but you're still looking at, um, you know, the, the, the possibility of rolling it. Uh, it is pretty lightweight, and we're dealing with shocks that are not oil damped. So we're basically just friction damping uh, spring shocks on here. Uh, but still, um, for the money you're spending, again, I will say that this is a very uh, nice entry-level uh, vehicle, entry into the hobby, I should say. And uh, for someone like myself that's got several cars and is into the hobby a little bit, um, it's, re it's a really good addition to the uh, garage if you want to say if you want to call it a garage but here again we have a little bit of a hang up uh, with the uh, lower ground clearance and I could have backed up and bashed over that but I just decided to kind of go around it show you guys that you know it will get hung up on some of this stuff um, but for the most part it's a it's a it's getting over a lot of the stuff that I didn't think it was going to at, at the onset of putting this on the dirt Here we can see some pavement speed runs. Now I'm kind of sorry I don't have a GPS uh, to test the claimed speed of 40 kilometers per hour. 
uh, max. Um, I don't think it's doing that. You're probably looking at about maybe 17 to 20 miles per hour um, on some of these passes, and that's just a guesstimate. Uh, but this has fully proportional steering as well as throttle control, and it also incorporates a uh, throttle trim where you can uh, back the throttle off uh, completely for new drivers, uh, so you're not dealing with the full power of the motor. Um, and new drivers can get a little bit of a uh, head start uh, learning to drive these uh, vehicles. Uh, but all said and done, um, I think this is doing a pretty good job, guys. I'm really kind of impressed. see here back off road again uh, where we are going to be uh, going over some of this uh, railroad uh, uh, gravel I guess you could call it or stone and we're going to try going over some of these uh, railroad ties here on the edge and you can see that it's uh, holding its own um, not really having much problem at all I'm taking it in short bursts kind of crawler style uh, through some of this. <laughs> 